Honorable Chief Minister, Dr. Mitra, other senior ministers and senior officials of the government of West Bengal, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to all of you. You know, 18 months ago, when I was here, we had just come out of the pandemic. At that time, I spoke about the human spirit's resilience, which helped us overcome the most difficult time in our living memory. I also spoke about the strength of our IT industry and how technology had played a key role in keeping the world connected and functional in those times. As we stand at the threshold of another significant change, I think of that resilient spirit once again. On the one hand, there is uncertainty and volatility arising from the tough global macroeconomic environment and the international conflicts. And on the other hand, there is the promise of an exciting future driven by the advancement of technologies like artificial intelligence and Gen AI within that, 5G and sustainable technologies. And just like previous cycles, technologies, I believe, can really revolutionize industries, stimulate economic growth, enhance the quality of life, and protect the environment. But only if we develop, expand, and implement them in a responsible manner. Last year, we as an industry crossed the $200 billion mark. And while it took us 40 years to get to the first 100 billion, the next 100 billion took us only 10 years. And I believe that the following 100 billion will probably take us less time. The industry today employs more than 5 million people. And I believe that those numbers could double in the next decade. All this could not have been possible without the support of forward-thinking governments like that of West Bengal. The West Bengal government's utmost focus to grow the IT industry in the state by not only providing the right policy environment, but also a very liberal, transparent, and realistic approach towards the development is very encouraging for companies like Wipro. Wipro's presence in West Bengal is expanding rapidly, and we will hope to have two campuses here very soon. Our existing campus in Salt Lake City employs more than 10,000 people over a 16-acre campus, where we provide digital solutions to global customers across high-tech, pharma, consumer electronics, and more. Besides this, we have acquired another 50 acres of land in Rajarath, where we are developing this second campus, which will play a pivotal role in our future. We will invest over rupees 200 crores in this second campus. Some of this is already underway. Our Rajarath campus will feature a cutting-edge center of excellence, which will have the biggest centralized learning and development facility in the world for us to train our new recruits across Pan India, supported by a whole ecosystem of learning and development. Our industry is in the brink of a huge opportunity. We have the largest and youngest workforce in the world, which have, we have a proven business model and global reputation, and we are at the upturn of, I believe, a long-term technology investment cycle. We can gain a lot from it, but we must do things to enhance the capacity to leverage it. There are three things I believe as a nation we need to do to, to, to capture this full zeal. We need to invest in creating a world-class infrastructure. We need to invest in equipping our young workers with the right skills and the opportunity to upskill. And we need to invest in improving healthcare and education for all citizens. It is therefore heartening to see the investments that your government has made in setting up high-quality educational institutions, hospitals, infrastructure, and laying a strong digital backbone for all citizens, all of which have contributed to a rapid growth of West Bengal's GDP. Equally encouraging is West Bengal's government's fast-growing and significant spend on social services that will improve the lives of millions of people and millions of citizens. At Wipro, we have always believed that we must engage and contribute to society beyond making profits. While we can't compare with the scale of what the government can do, in our own modest ways, we have been making sincere and meaningful commitments to the social and ecolog ecological challenges facing our society today. You may know that the Azim Premji Foundation owns 66% of Wipro's economic interest. We are committed to supporting various social causes in West Bengal through our philanthropic efforts, and we've already allocated roughly 120 crores to nearly 50 organizations that do work as wide-ranging from supporting street children to healthcare support for transgender individuals. 
I would like to conclude by reaffirming that West Bengal is a vital state for us at Wipro and a long-term investment destination. I thank the government for supporting Wipro, and I also wish all of you a very productive summit. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Premji.